Hi everyone, I am Prithvi from Informatica and in this video I will be talking about ad hoc matching in Customer 360. Here comes the agenda. We will begin with the introduction followed by the file import. Then we will talk about the prerequisites for ad hoc matching and then I will give you a demo on steps to perform ad hoc matching and then the summary. Coming to the introduction. So before we move on to ad hoc matching, let us talk about when ad hoc matching is used. In Customer 360, we have a feature called as file import which is similar to the IDD bulk import. Here you can import data in bulk from a CSV source file into the Customer 360 database. To import data, populate the data in one of the predefined templates. A predefined template contains a list of fields associated with a business entity view. The import process helps you to create or update multiple primary records in a single operation. You can import up to 10,000 records at a time. Now coming to ad hoc matching. Before you import, you can perform an ad hoc match to compare the import data with the existing records, that is the records that you pass in the file and the record which is already there in the database. The match process identifies duplicate and unmatched records. You can then select to import the unmatched records or all the records. Now we'll talk about the file import UI. This is how the file import UI looks in the customer 360 interface. So first is the bulk import. Here we have two things that is the import template and the import file format. In the import template we can set the template for the customers which contains the fields that can be imported through the file. This is here. Then we have file import format where we can select the type of file we will be importing the data through that is CSV. We can click on view template details to see what are the different fields in the template and then go with next to import the file. Next when we click on next we go to ad hoc matching. So here it is used to compare the data in the import file with the already existing records. How this is done? This is done because we set a match rule for the uh, particular business entity in the hub console. When we perform the ad hoc match customer 360 60 generates the match results that contains the result of the matched and the unmatched records. You can review the match results to determine whether to import all the records or the unmatched records. So what are the prerequisites to perform ad hoc matching? We need two things for the ad hoc matching to take place. First thing is a match rule on the base object on which you want to run ad hoc matching in the hub console. We need to set this match rule in the hub console for that particular business entity table. Next is a file that contains the data to be imported as per the template. This should be in the format .csv. Now in the demo, I will be showing you all the steps how to perform ad hoc matching. Considering the prerequisites, I have created a match rule for the party bo table. Name of the match rule is ws and this will be used in the ad hoc matching. And I also have a .csv file with the records to be imported. Now moving to the customer 360 UI, I will click on the file import tab here and in the import template I will be selecting the business entity view that is person and I will be selecting the type of the file that is .csv and we can click on view template details to, to check the details of the templates like which fields are in the template which need to be imported. Moving to next, sure I will be selecting the file that I will be importing. Coming down. Before proceeding, we have to click on validate and preview. It will tell us how many records are to be imported. Okay, here, validation successful. The five contains 265 records to be imported. Next. Here we have an option for ad hoc matching. Do you want to match the records? Click on yes. Then select the match rule that is WS and then click on match records. Once the ad hoc matching is done, the result is displayed in the screen like this. Here we have the number of input records, number of match records and number of unmatched records. And below they have listed down the records here. So under the matched records tab, we have the records that have been matched. So here source underscore column name refers to the columns in the input file. Whereas target underscore field name refers to the business entity fields in the database. So if you scroll to your right, you can see target underscore 
field name so and we also have a filter here to select what and all, what and all columns we want to be displayed okay so let's just select uh, I will just select the row ID source first name and the target first name if you move down you can see the target first name just get it here and there's also a match rule detail column which will give you details about the match rule used in ad hoc matching it's here. so when you click here you can see the source first name and the target first name and the match rule used if you hover it here you can see the match rule details we also have a filter option in which we can find different records by specifying the field and the value to it. For example, if I want to search based on first name and I give any first name here value, I will give per for now and click enter. You can see all the first names that contains per in it since it's a fuzzy match key. That's all about match records. Then we move on to the unmatched record tab where we can see details about the unmatched record and we can do the same thing here. Just display whatever we want. Here we do not have source and target. Here we just have normal data that needs to be inserted and different column names. You can give here and then same thing filter goes similarly. Any field name and then you can want to f search the field name. Same thing I give test. Since there's only one record here I can just give test. And you can also download the report by clicking on download report. A zip file gets downloaded. When you unzip the file, you can see two .csv files inside it, which contains the match records and the unmatched records. When you open these files, you can see the records that are matched and the ones that are unmatched. Now ad hoc matching is done. Now we can select we want to import all the records or unmatched records we just have to click on the tab and start import this is how the data will be imported to the customer 360 after ad hoc matching coming to the summary here are some of the references through which you can know more about customer 360 and ad hoc matching we would love to hear from you all so you can write to us to the below two addresses thank you